Hello and welcome back. In this video, we will be talking about a very important component uh, naming data profiling task. To understand what this component does, let's click on the data. I have modified a bit uh, the same data we are working on, but this time even more fields. And we are not sure that which field we can make primary key or how many nulls are in our data and uh, what are the problems uh, with our data and how we can resolve it or cleanse our data. So better understand we will be working on data profiling task. So one thing to remember is uh, data profiling task only works with the uh, tables with which are uh, in the SQL server. So first we need to bring our data into SQL server. For this we will go into task and uh, here we can select import flat file or import data. Let's go from import data because uh, in that way you will understand completely and here we have a flat file source and uh, destination will be csv okay good all good Okay, click next and here we need to provide the destination destination will be SQL server and server name will be SQL server authentication. We are not a black password. And test the connection. Connection is succeeded. Click OK. Click next. Now this will add a new table with the name DBO profiling data. Okay, click next and uh, finish, finish and our data is executed. All is successful. Let's refresh our server and see if we have a table data profiling. Is our, oh, let me refresh it again. It should be here. And yes, we have our data here. So here we have our data. Now we will go into uh, Visual Studio, Solution Explorer, and I'm bringing the file here. Uh, for you guys, so you will have a file work with this, and this is our file. Okay, fine. Let's go with this one. It's here, here we will add a new SSIS package and we will name it. Data profile and uh, remember data profiling is a control flow task so we will go into SQL server and here we have our data profile component double click on this component and here it's asking us for the file connection
new file connection this is uh, a new file this is not same one uh, no we will be saving it for now let's save it uh, with our tab i will include this both files and uh, data profiler and open this file it's not found no problem so, this is the file which will be uh, uh, on which the uh, profiling data will be written so profile requests will be here we have different requests like candidate key profile business key if you want to uh, obtain from a data for now we have a very small database but let's say we have millions of rows then we can't really analyze all of the rows so we have column length dense distribution null ratio like if the columns have null uh, statistics basic stats then all this for this uh, i will go into general and quick profile and here it's asking us from where you want your data to be fetched and I want from maintenance and what is the data this is the data so uh, we will check all of these and click ok and see profile requests are being added so uh, let's leave the expression for now and click OK. And uh, you see our profiler is now working. Uh, to work with, we will set this as a startup object. So the, all other fields will not run. So let's uh, run it. And here we have ran the profiler and it's done stop this one we go to our folder and double click on this one and you see it has an xml file but it's really a very lengthy file and uh, we cannot make how much sense out of this file we want to see from here now in order to see what's uh, within the file um, what we will do we will double click on the data profiler task open a profile viewer and here we have uh, all the like candidate key can be customer amount customer name and I am and uh, column length if you want to see let's expand it to better understand and column length uh, you see country code should be three and we have a two somewhere and in country code we have uh, 88 percent three and one is uh, to then the country name uh, uh, this doesn't make sense because country can, name can vary so customer amount uh, and then the name mm, customer name okay department code is always three lengths and 100 percent of maintenance code is three lengths and uh, 
product name is same product name is different sales date most of the time is this way salesperson and this is the all column length distribution like maximum and minimum length so column null profile if we go into null this all have zero nulls why they have zero nulls okay, there is no null value okay, just that's why Already open. Forum pattern profile and US. You see, there we found an error and we can resolve it within the data US and US. Forum value distribution profile like what is the value or count of the column? Country code is 4 distinct values number of distinct values is four country name is four customer amount is nine one name is nine and in the same way seven. so it has given all the uh, required data so that's uh, for the component data profiling task so one thing is uh, you noticed uh, that data profiling is a standalone task uh, it's a control task so we cannot uh, give it support to some other component so to overcome uh, this uh, limitation of this uh, data profiling task what we need to do if we go into a data flow and here we have SSIS toolbox and here we have XML XML source uh, you remember uh, the data profiling task give, gives us an XML file so we can um, drag this component here uh, into a data flow and read that the uh, XML file from uh, data profiling task and uh, then uh, on the basis of uh, our visualization or analyzation of data profiling uh, task for the data we can use like conditional separates and uh, how we want our data to be that's all for now thank you very much hope to see you soon Thanks, brother.